Get to know a Corsair from the inside out. We're talking to the guy that brings you that and more in the hangar. Welcome to In The Hangar, I'm Christy Wong. And I'm Dan Milliken. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out our sponsors. They help us bring this to you guys. We got a great show today. We're gonna to be talking to our longtime friend, Brian Turner, oh wait, no, I'm sorry, no, Eric no, no, Johnston. No. Yeah, that's the wrong one. <laughs> wrong lifetime friend. <laughs> Eric, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Well, Eric, you've been doing, uh, you've gotten into walk around videos. Yeah. Right, is that kind of your thing now? It kind of turned into it. Um, I start, man, I probably started doing those maybe six, seven years ago. And, <clears throat> excuse me, the videos that were on YouTube were kind of like pre-flight videos, you know, five, ten minute long. And I thought that there was a lot of information that was being left on the table. And I, I didn't steal the concept. When I grew up uh, with my dad at the airport, I remember watching ABC Wide World of Flying with Barry Sheff. Oh, wow. And he would do these walk around videos. And even then, I thought there's still more that I want to know. What about this? What about that? You know, because not everybody gets to be close to a Corsair or a B 25 or a whatever, you know? And it's just like, what does that little thing do? What does that little thing do? And so, what now, what they've morphed into is that when I pair up with you or you, you know, Mr. Miss Pilot, and I say, hey, this is how, th this is what I'm looking to do. Okay, you got to explain it like this is my first time to see an airplane. And in the same sentence, I want you to talk to me like I'm about to get my type rating in this airplane and try to, you know, go for, talk, you know, for, you know, dumb it down, but over explain it as well. And, and some guys get it sometimes, sometimes some guys don't. Uh, I tell people like with uh, Shiv when we did the A-10, I go, it's the A-10, don't embellish it. It's the A-10. It doesn't need yeah, help. Exactly. <laughs> you know, um, when uh, Bayo, when we did the F-35 and I go, just tell me what you're allowed to tell me. You know, because they we couldn't get close to the airplane. So, and uh, oh. but, but yeah, but with Shiv, he did such a good job with the A10. You know, and sometimes I'll, I'll coach him. I'll say, point. You know, look at this. Oh yeah, that's a pitot tube. Okay. You know, some people want to know what that is. You know, what's an AOA vane? Why is it not a step? You know, and. You know. So you're not necessarily doing walk around videos in like Cessnas or Cherokees. You're well, I doing. Do. Okay. I, I do. I mean, if, if a plane is made, I want to do a walk around video on it. You know, okay. like I've done. So you've got a 172 walk around video? Not yet. Okay. I'm oh, on, I can hook you up with that. I'm waiting on Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Flowers, walk around nine, nine or nine or one. Hint, hint. <laughs> We've actually talked about it in the past, but you know, he's got all this abundant time on his hands, you know. So. I've, yeah, got yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a warrior. I've got a warrior that you could do. We've talked about doing them, but you're so busy. I know. Too. We've we'll, talked we'll about it. We definitely need to do that. Yeah. That's on our list to do, of yeah. things to do this year. Yeah, Brian and I, we did the Grumman. And we did it with a speech jammer too. That was that like we a did too. Oh five second God. video to cover the Grumman? Yeah, he doesn't know a lot about Walk it, around. so it was, yeah. it was short. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did, that was the, one of the first times that I introduced him to the speech jammer. You remember I, when I, we did that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember when we all did that. <laughs> I thought about that um, as preparing for this show. I thought, huh, I wonder if we could bring that back. You know, we got some really, we got a few comments from people thought we were making fun of certain type of people. Oh, no. No, we weren't. No. We were making but, fun of ourselves. Yeah, we were. <laughs> you, you, you know what's funny, though? I've heard that with people that have speech impediments, mm -hmm. that if they use a speech jammer, it helps them. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't heard that. Yeah. Well, anyway, but uh, I don't know how we got sideways on that. But, uh, <laughs> the walk-around videos. Walk-around videos. <laughs> so, but, I mean, you, uh, you are a photographer. You're a videographer. Um, the walk-arounds was a good match of that, but you also do a lot of air to air you do do you do air to ground photography at all or uh some if um but more air to air more air to air how did you get into that uh air to air photography if you're an aviation photographer or videographer that's like the pinnacle you know and being able to safely and effectively and accurately pull that off is the the coolest thing out there basically my favorite thing to do i'm not a pilot but my favorite thing to do in aviation is fly information with other aircrafts uh, second thing is to fly, is to, to do aerobatics, and on occasion we'll combine those if oh, the, wow. if the people are right. You right. know what I mean? Uh, but the air to air photography, it's it's just it's 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 majestic. It's awesome to fly so close to another airplane, and when you get married up with a team of individuals that know each other really well, they can do it well, they can do it accurately, and most of all, most importantly, safely. Then you see all those pieces come together, and it's just it's so cool. You know, and you get home, you, you look at the shots, and you go, "Man, this is just the neatest thing out there." And it it takes what a lot of people don't see is the sometimes weeks or months, and with some instances, 
hours before the shoot. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's some guys that have been flying together, like the guys over Mid America. When, when I was doing a lot of shooting with them, they've known each other for so many years that hey, let's go fly that airplane, that airplane. That's the brief. You know, because they they know each other that well. I'm just going to point the camera and I'll point him in with hand signals. Other people, there's a lot of preparation in. Um, but before the shoot, say, you know, a lot of vetting, you know, what's your level of formation experience? There's key answers that I'm wanting to hear or not wanting to hear, you know, which, which will dictate where I go, what road I go down after that. So, you know, if you got a lot of experience, okay, I'm going to interview you a little bit more. If you are straight up and say, I don't have a lot of experience, that's what I want to hear. I watched the YouTube video. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm YouTube certified. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, you know, it's funny. I kind of smiled when you're saying that. I was in a briefing room with you where I could see some concern written all over your face when you were listening to people. <laughs> that was uh, down a hondo. No, I was uh, thinking about... Oh, the, that was the, uh, that was the more recent yeah, the one. one. That was <laughs> more than one. That, yeah, that was, yeah. And we can't really go into more detail no, without incriminating people on that one. No, we can't. So, but that was, that was, the one you're talking about was coincidentally the worst air-to-air -air shoot that I've ever been on. Well, we can talk about it without revealing anything. What made that bad? It started out with a brief. It started the out with a brief. The briefing was bad. Yeah. What was bad about it? Well, the briefing, normally uh, when we're doing a, a, a photo flight is different than a formation flight, the average formation flight. The mission no, is different. The mission's different. Okay. Well, the, and the, everything, the, the execution, and like, it, like if you, let's go fly formation. I'll go first, you be number two, you go number three. You mm -hmm. take the right wing, you take the left wing, okay, and just don't hit me, okay? And there's certain positions that you want to maintain, and you can be different spaces so like that. A photo flight, it's like, okay, it's accuracy. And I'm going to bring you up. Oh, we're going to be lead. We're going to bring you up. I'm going to turn into you. I'm going to stack you high, and I'm going to put the sun right in your face. That's not the most ideal condition. Mm -hmm. makes a lot of people uncomfortable. That's when people look at those pictures and go, wow, that's so cool. Right. I wish I could be an aviation photographer you know, <laughs> right. and stuff like that. It's like you, don't, you, don't have, you have no idea how, what, it, what it takes to do that. And some, sometimes people are like, oh, I'm out. I can't do it. You know? And that's the, hard, that's the hard call to make, especially when you're there. And there's been a couple times that I should have said, okay, let's knock it off. We're going home. It's not working. And you, you, if you live from it, you learn from it. Okay, so we had a bad briefing, and then what happened? You said that was one of the roughest flights. It, it, was, it, was, it was bouncy. It was in the middle of the day, so the lighting was horrible. A uh, bunch of talented pilots. Yes. It was, it was just... Incredible talent. Yes. It, it was just put together wrong. You know, the photo flight normally takes off lead the first, and everybody joins up. Well, we were last. Well, so that's weird, so yeah. it, it, it was almost doomed to fail from a photo flight mission from the beginning. Okay. You know, so, and that, that's when I should have spoken up and said, this is not how we normally do it. So, but I'm, you know, I'm just a photographer. I'm hanging out with all these. Maybe that's the talent, problem you know? is that you're just a photographer. I'm not really a pilot. And you're in a room full of all these guys who, you know, they all fly warbirds. I mean, they're really good pilots. So maybe you felt that you couldn't, you know, they know their thing. Well, and that's just it. I'm like, you know, I've been doing it for a while, but I, I'm, I don't know everything. So I'm like, well, let's try it. Let's see if it works. It, it doesn't. Work. It, it did not work. It, it, it doesn't work. work. And we we all felt it. We all got on, on the ground. I'm looking around. I was guys. there for the debrief as well. And we were yeah. walking. Just, I mean, these guys are like former military guys, and they're walking back going, that sucked. Right. They were all, they <laughs> were all tough. yeah. tough. I mean, it, it, it beat everybody down. And, and we should have we knocked it off. We should have said, hey, it's not working. This is gone. And I think that's the takeaway from it is that you could be like this multi-thousand hour, like amazing pilot and still have something to learn from it. Mm -hmm. So, oh. There, there's still those flights that'll get you. They'll still bite you. Yeah. Your best air-to-air -air photography tips. Don't fly with Brian Turner. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that's where I messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, the best, uh, the best tips are going to be, uh, it's always going to err on the side of uh, safety, okay? Um, and that is putting together a team that you know can fly well together. Uh, Kerry LaFleur, I love you using him. He's mm. got a Cessna 180. He's a great lead. And if I, if it's a subject aircraft, the pilot of that does not, ha if, if they're not proficient with formation flying, Kerry's friend Lowell, Lowell Henning, I think his last name, Lowell, we'll put Lowell in that airplane. This uh, is what we did with Brian. Yeah, I know Lowell. Yeah. yeah. Tall guy. Yeah, yeah. super nice guy. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, we'll put him in there. And uh, that's what we did for the Cardinal shoot. Um, for uh, Kelsey's Cardinal, uh, Cessna uh, Flyer Magazine uh, reached out and said, hey, we need to cover Cardinal. 
And I sent him, like, oh, I know this dude that's got this black and red one looks like Batman's Cardinal. So we shot that. And oh, that's Kelsey cool. was totally cool with it. He goes, I did not have formation experience. And I go, cool, let's put Lola in with you. Went around, flew around Possum Kingdom Lake, had a great time. Yeah. But it, it, it would not have gone nearly that well if it, if it had been, you know, um, Kelsey flying, you know? Yeah. So it's just, but being honest, being able to re recognize that and put it together from a safety standpoint, it saves so much time. It saves so much time, and, and it can save lives. So. Well, I think experience has to do with that as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay, real talk, Eric. So the last time we <laughs> talked, you had not yet gotten your pilot certificate. Have nope. you gotten that yet? I have progressed. Zero. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So really, we call it a regression. I have flown in a few airplanes, but they're not in the logbook. Let's put it that way. Gotcha. So do you have plans now to pursue your... Pilot certificate? I or? need to. I need to. Now you that, do need to. Now that to. the channel's growing, it's financially there, you know, to maybe do that. So. Now you just need the time. I How much, where no, are you at no, on your private? People always say it's either time or money. We can always make time to fly. Mm -hmm. We can always make time. I can it's, attest. It, it's, it's, it's so there is, there is absolutely no excuse then for you. Yeah, thanks for wording it like that. <laughs> well, yeah. no, so you've got the money exactly you said. Right. Brian's you been, always have the time. Brian's so. been riding me. He goes, when are you going to do it? I know. So, and I need to. I was going to say, I, I know a to. CF triple I that can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. He takes money under the table if you need it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that's how you pay. We've done that before, and I don't have anything in the log. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> well, then there's that. Um, Did he write it in crayon? Like? Yeah, pencil. <laughs> Your favorite plane to do a walk around? That I have done? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. We'll start there. He hasn't okay. done the Warrior yet. So. No, nah, true. That, that's the next one. Yeah. Um, Warrior side. That I have done, uh, that would be the A-10. A-10, the yeah. Warthog. Yeah, A-10 Warthog, yeah. What's the official name of it? I know this. I know this because I was like blown away. Everybody calls it the. I call. I know it the it's Warthog. called the Warthog, uh, but the official name was. It goes back to World War II. I know. And I can't remember. <laughs> You're gonna cut this part out. <laughs> no, I'll probably keep this it. This is me and you. I know fun. this answer, and I can't remember what is it. Thunderbolt two. Thunderbolt two. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but everyone calls it the Warthog. Right. So. But uh, yeah, they they already had a Thunderbolt. Yeah. I wonder why they named it the Thunderbolt 2. Because they had a Thunderbolt 1 already. Well, I know. Well, yes, but <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying. Well, you can't, though, you like... can't call the first one 2 and then the second one 1. Yeah, that wouldn't make that, sense. That's too confusing. True. Said, well, the they do have a Corsair 2, but and yeah. uh, I never really liked that plane and didn't know why they called it a Corsair because yeah. it wasn't anything like and that. Then you got a F-35 Lightning 2. That's true. Versus P-38. That's, yeah, they should stop why that. Why can't I, exactly? I was going to say that's that. too confusing. Yeah. That's why Warhog is so much better. I think Nobody so. Was yeah, call it. exactly. Yeah. Thunderbolt two. Yeah. Now the Warhog, like a the bad Warhog, sequel. The, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sequels are never good. <laughs> no. So yeah, the Warhog and then the next one uh, probably even would be the Corsair. Corsair, my mm. favorite. Mm. Oh man, I, yeah. I, I watched that video. I watched most of your videos. The Corsair walk around. I learned a lot of things, and I'm a Corsair Same. aficionado. <laughs> Same here. Yeah, that was a good video. That was neat. And Jim, Jim Tobel, he's been flying that for many years. I think his dad flew that one as well. And Jim's over, I think he's 70, around 70 years old, going on 40. The guy looks fantastic. Wow. And he is so nice. Ugh, I want to be is, that dude when I grow he up. He is one of the nicest guys in, in, in the world and just willing to give him his time and stuff. We filmed it up at Oshkosh. Oh. And yeah. I, I filmed 12 walk around videos in two days. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I remember I was filming him, and we had a group kind of gathers around, and I tell people, I go, I go, you're welcome, just don't get In the past show. here, please, yeah. you know? And this one kid was just so eager about it, and I go, man, let's hold off, answer this question so the kid gets right. satisfied. Because I don't want, you don't want to diminish right. that, you know? Hey, kid, get out so, of here. Yeah, hey, you I don't hold you, <laughs> you know? But no, he was, so that was so much fun, though. And, uh. But as far as ones that I would like to do, yeah, you're, the ones you'd like to do besides the warrior, the one besides yeah, the warrior, besides the warrior. Um, I just recently paired up with the, the NASA folks down in Houston. We shot the Super Guppy. What? I'm I'm waiting for them. We shot it over two days, so I've technically shot that. Okay. Why really, didn't you call me? Haven't released it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that is so cool. I do, I don't have a huge desire to fly in the Super Guppy. No, no but I'm a I Corsair do. guy. That that one looks like. <laughs> It looks like it had cancer. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, that's neither. They built four of those super guppies. That's the last one flying. Oh wow. And it was weird how that came to be. We were at the Houston Air Show uh, to shoot Rebels F-16 video. And 
Chris Epton, a good buddy of mine who was my host, who, he was letting me stay with him and during that weekend, said, hey, you ever thought about shooting a walk around video on the Super Guppy? And I was like, oh, I'd love to. I, I've sent NASA an email and who knows where they go, you know? Right, right. It yeah. kind of probably fell on deaf ears. And he goes, well, Kara, Kara Lynn works for NASA. And I go, I know. I don't want to be that guy going, hey, you know, I'm your buddy. Can I use your, your position at NASA to get my foot in the door? Well, he goes, well, she'll be here at the pilot brief. So five minutes later, we're shooting the bowl with her. And she goes, oh, you need to talk to, talk to Ray. Where are you? I'm over at the B-29 dock. 15 minutes later, I'm talking to Ray, the main guy at NASA. Oh, the, wow. The, the, the DO for, uh, right. for NASA down there. And then right behind him, right beside him, is David, Dilla, the, hey, David Elliott, the FE, the flight engineer for the Guppy. So we're talking about shooting this. When do you want to do it? You know, oh, too bad the Guppy was supposed to be here today. We could have done it today. I mean, it was just that my unicorn just, <laughs> it's, it's timing. It's right place at right. the right time. So now that we've shot this, I want to do all the NASA airplanes. I want to do the WB-57. You know? Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. We talked about doing that, and we had to wait on that for Artemis to launch because they had uh, sensors on that and cameras to, to document the Artemis launch, and they got three of them. But they're using them at different points, right. you know. So they, they we got, got to wait for Artemis to launch, and then we can get that stuff off the airplane. They didn't want to hold that for Eric Johnson photography. I know. Did you, you didn't you tell them who you were? You, like, you told them who you were. Right? <laughs> <laughs> did you say I know Brian Turner? Yeah, they said who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't say, hey, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Show them your YouTube uh, <laughs> 100,000 subs. I, I meant to bring that today. I was going to have you guys sign yeah. it. I, I, I totally forgot. Well, that. we see how important we are today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about turning around. But no, they got the WB 57. They got uh, the, T, the massive amounts of T 38s down there. Yeah. Uh, because they, they got they, they got a hangar that they uh, work on. I mean, you walk in this maintenance hangar, there's 20, 25 T-38s. Everybody, it's just well, so wasn't cool. that, I, I believe it was the T, how old are the T-38s, like 50 years old? Yeah, right the 50s, Yeah, 60s. I remember, I uh, read, so like I read, um, I've read Lovell's book, I've read, um, uh, oh, I just spaced on his name, uh, Apollo, Apollo 11, uh, uh, the command module commander. Oh, gosh. I'm this, drawing a blank. This, so, you, yeah, you have Buzz and you have, um, Armstrong? Armstrong. Collins. Michael oh, Collins. Yeah, Michael oh, Collins. Okay. So I read Michael Collins' book um, right before he died, too. It, amazing book. But he talked about that they just, they would jump in the T-38s mm -hmm. to go here or there. I mean, it was like the major um, transportation that the astronauts would use. $100 hamburger. Yeah. T-38. Yeah. 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 Everybody that flies a T-38 loves it. Everybody. It's a sexy airplane. It's fast. It's supersonic. Roll rate's phenomenal. They said, you know, if you can get used to the touchdown speed, which is, I can't remember, but it's up there. You know? 400, yeah. Yeah, 450, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> they said, if you can get used to that, then it's fine. It's just a hot rod. It's just a fast, sexy airplane. So, you know, it, and that's it, why the astronauts would use it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had one coming to Monroe, Louisiana one day. Jim Housel was the astronaut, and his air brakes were stuck down. The hydraulic system jammed down. And NASA goes, we don't want anybody working on the airplane. So he had to fly from Monroe, Louisiana, back to Houston with the air brakes down. So he could only do like what five hundred? Something was like crazy. that. Yeah. <laughs> the speed was crazy slow. It was slower than what he was used to. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> um, space shuttle? You going to do a walk around on? I that? would love to, and it, it'd be easier now with them all decommissioned and in, in, yeah. in museums. You know, sometimes you got to find a museum that's friendly to that. And kind you need of notion, you need so. uh, a, a commander to the uh, the head flown one. That's what you need. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, so we'll look for that one. Okay. That, yeah. That'll yeah. We'll see what we could do. That'll, that'll be a short <laughs> video. There's not, not a lot to talk about on the shuttle, I bet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so last question. Um, as a photographer, videographer, tell me about your equipment, what you like to use. Um, you know, uh, go technical on me here. Um, it's easy to go, you got to have this, you got to have that. And it's whatever you have. Right. Go with that. So iPhone's for, good. I, well, I've done, I've done it before. Yeah, we have too. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've been uh, filming. Yeah. Especially for social media, happy snaps, <laughs> stuff like that, iPhone works great, especially now. But um, we've done some product shots in flying and for marketing, and my photographer has used high end cameras and he's used the, the newer iPhones, and the client likes the newer iPhone stuff. It's crazy. It, well, um, Mike Killian, that was going to bug me. Mike Killian, he's, I think he's a Florida based photographer, and he did a, an air dare shoot with an F 86 Sabre Jet. Oh, and wow. he was in, I think, a Marchetti S211. Okay. And he has got his Canon ABC XYZ, you know, right. whatever, with his iPhone strapped up here. And I watched the, you know, I'm at work and I watched the, I'm watching this F86 footage and I go, wait a second. 
He's doing video with his iPhone and stills oh, with, so his, with, with oh, his that's camera. that's brilliant, yes. both same time. And I call him and I I, I, I just I opened up my laptop, went to myself, let me get a bigger screen. So I opened up right. my laptop and I go, man, this looks great. So I call him and I go, dude, is that your iPhone? He goes, I can tell it was a 14 Pro Max Plus, right, you know, whatever. Right. And he goes, yeah. And I go, what grading did you do or anything like that? He goes, nothing. Wow. He wow. goes, wow. Camera, yeah, cinematic mode. mode. Yeah. And he goes, it's, it's, the stabilization is phenomenal. It is. It is just crazy, you know. And But you, there's certain tricks you can do with some of the older iPhones. Like, you know, if you can get a polarizer or something like that, put over the lens, that'll take care of that warpy prop. Wow. Yeah, it's like hmm. you put an ND filter over it, you know. So same thing with the GoPros. So, but uh, with what, what I have been using for a long time, still to this day, I have a Canon 70D and oh, wow. an 80D. And I like to joke, I like to say I have an 80D. So ADD. I shoot with an ADD. And, uh, <laughs> Boom, boom. But uh, they're they're dad jokes. For years and years, I bought all my stuff used to get it at a better price. Right. So I've been doing all this photography, all this air to air stuff with four hundred dollar used cameras. That's wow. amazing. Crop crop sensors. So and just do it is what you're. Just do it. So yeah. people, so many people. My, my dad taught me photography, and he goes, "Never let your equipment be your handicap." Yeah. Never say, "Oh, I can't do it because I don't have this. I don't have that." Or I can't do it because I don't have time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. But take what you have. Put it's it's creating the environment to do it is, is the harder part. You know? I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Uh, Dan has been wanting me to <laughs> do some footage of some stuff. And honestly, okay, so like the last time I saw you, you know, we went, we were at Whiteside <laughs> yes. on our way to Oshkosh. And um, I remember that was an adventure. <laughs> that was fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we... We well, have to yeah. tell this story. It's, <laughs> no, it, we, it was good. It's a good story. Yeah, we wound up staying at the All, all Seasons, Seasons Motel. The motel, the, the No-Tail Motel. The no, right. Yeah, it was... It, Motel, yeah. yeah. It was... We paid for the full eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, because it's true. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, 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 when we pulled up... We're like, you gotta be joking. The me. dude was pulling the, the <laughs> no, that one of the wall AC one of the wall was, was, AC was right there. To thought out and uh, is it Brian, the fire pilot? Is it Sean? Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean. This guy, he pulls up. He goes, "Well, look at that. Someone got them a brand new air conditioning unit." I mean, it was just, it was just, you had to be there. It was freaking hilarious. And Sean, he's, he's a funny guy. So I'm trying to tell Dan all of this. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, you won't believe this! Like this crazy hotel adventure, motel adventure, whatever." Dan, the first thing he says is. Did you get it on did video? You get, did you get it on video? <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm like, no, like. It's easy to get caught up in the moment. It is. And to forget to do this. So I, I feel Not like. Not me. I, well, I, <laughs> what I need to do is I just need to buy one of those chest straps, put the GoPro on it, and then just record like all day long because that's effectively like. <laughs> the no Phillips way. You just put a GoPro right there, strap it on, you walk around airports and airplanes and oh my your goodness. whole life. I, I basically, I need to do that more. Like I need to like, oh shoot, let me grab my. Uh, but it's hard because when I'm like in pilot mode and I'm like doing pilot things, I'm like I'm a pilot, not mm -hmm. a not a videographer. That's right. Whereas challenge. I'm a videographer who happens to be a pilot, so I think in videography. But yeah, um, I think with most pilots that are not that don't come from a video background, they, they can they can bite them. So oh yeah. They, so it's important for them to, to know that it's okay to fire, forget, and fly your airplane. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? yeah. If you don't get footage. You don't get footage. It's okay. Yep. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Well, Eric, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me, man. This was fun. It was good to catch it. up with it's you. It's always a good time. Yeah, that was fun. You going What's... out, doing Oshkosh again? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we'll have to set up that uh, warrior walk around. Yes. So we'll that'll be fun. That'll be good. Yeah. Sitting right next to a course there. Oh, my gosh. Where are you guys staying? Uh, don't know yet. Uh, uh, Airbnbs. The, the uh, same okay. one. Got it. I'm staying at Warbird Camping. Oh, man. Nice. Warbird Camping. Yeah. I've done that before. That's cool. Really? Yes. I never have. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Really I mean, you're too. right there on the field, and you get waking up in the morning with the sound of airplanes. Is it close to the SOS tent? Uh, no. Oh, okay. It is not. I might not stay in Wilbur camping. I've done my camping. <laughs> it's still closer than it would be for an Airbnb. I got you. Got so. You. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsors, and our sponsors are Flying Eyes and Colton Mortgage. We have Marshall Protective Services, Clemens Insurance. If you need aviation insurance or any kind of insurance, clemensinsurance.net can help you. Tailwindwaymakers.org, a new scholarship way to help pilots complete it. They've got the time, maybe they don't have the money. There you go. So um, <laughs> you can go to their website and contribute and make somebody's dream come true. 
and also Z Vision, the brightest lights you'll ever have on an airplane. And not only can they light up the runway from a long ways away, it can also help reduce bird strikes. So I want to thank all our sponsors. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. In the hangar.